guys, welcome back to Dean's Dolls. Today, it is a Sunday and I uploaded. Yes, great, doing well on that part. But I also have a great DIY video for you guys. So as you guys know, I have a character named Gavin on my show called Whiteborn and we decided that, you know, his room is not cutting it anymore. So we wanna make an updated version of Gavin's bedroom where he lives in his basement. So we thought, you know, I got rid of the other room and so I'm just gonna teach you guys how to make it, which is basically like a regular Ken DIY doll room. So the materials you need is a ruler. You'll also need some foam board, preferably white foam board. You can use a black foam board too if that's all you have. And then also some X-Acto knives. So I have it in my X-Acto knife case, X-Acto knives. And a pair of scissors is also needed for this craft. Make sure there is adult supervision, me being 21, I'm an adult, I swear. <laughs> you will also need clear plastic for the windows. I got them from my Barbie Looks boxes. And you would also need scrapbooking paper. So I got this brick wall ones from Hobby Lobby. These bricks will be for the walls, like, you know, the actual, like, wall. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, and then I'll have this paper for the floor. And I also got that at Hobby Lobby. Hot glue gun is also needed with glue. So that's kind of a given. Most crafts need it, you know, to actually put the paper on the walls. And then I also have some fabric for the curtains. And I think there'll be like a nice touch. It's in the color like light brown. I think I got this at Walmart. So I think that's pretty much it concerning materials. So I'm just gonna bring out Gavin. Yes, he is still wearing his Christmas sweater because I have not changed any of my dolls, but I am gonna change him for this video, as you guys will see at the end. But yeah, I'm gonna need him to do the measurements and stuff like that. Also, before I forget, I'm also gonna be using this like piece of wood. I don't remember the name for wooden dowel, I think. It is a wooden dowel, but onto the craft. So first I'm kind of pinpointing by making a little marker with pencil on the foam board and just making it a little over Gavin's height. So that'll be like the wall's um, length to make sure that it's not over, but not too overpowering. It's over, but not too overpowering where like, it's like so high. And so I kind of mark it with the ruler as well. And then I begin to cut it out with my X-Acto knife. All right, so after I cut out all the boards, I kind of make sure that it's fit, it fits with Gavin's bunk bed because he does have a bunk bed in his room. And so I still want to be able to lift his head and things like that with it not going over his, go over, going over camera. So basically it's doing pretty well. So yeah, I'm going to keep it at this height. So for this craft, I'm using two walls and not three and a, just a floor just because I feel like it's easier to have different angles and things like that with two walls instead of three. So I have the brick scrapbooking paper and I'm gonna put those, glue them onto the walls with uh, scrap, with not, with hot, with hot glue. <laughs> I don't know why my brain was like circuiting. I'm also gonna glue the floor with this scrapbooking paper. So as you guys can see here, I already cut out the windows for his room on the back wall and I'm gonna put this piece of clear plastic that I cut out and put it on the back of the wall so that he can have windows in his room. So this is what it looks like when you glue it with hot glue gun, with a hot glue gun. And yeah, it did the job, it looks nice. So you guys can see that I glued the floor and the brick walls is currently being glued, but I'm gonna put a piece of foam board and have it on the sides, like the bottom sides of the flooring so that it can have like that uh, white plating. I don't remember what it's called, but if you can watch other YouTubers that know what they're talking about, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> also guys, I'm gonna paint this wooden dowel with acrylic white paint so that it can be white to better fit with the windows for the curtain. So here I am gluing the pieces of foam board onto the edges of the flooring so that I can look like a real like house. I don't really remember the word, but it's like plating, I guess. And you see it in your own homes as well. So it just really makes it more realistic. 
All right, as you guys can see, I pretty much already made the room, so the curtains are up, but I'm trying to figure out the decor. And I don't have very much realistic furniture for a guy's bedrooms or Ken dolls right now. So I can either craft, which I'm not even that great at, or I can buy it on Etsy. And I'm thinking Etsy's the, the deal here. So Gavin's gonna keep his bed, gonna keep the curtains, but the chair has gotta go. And I think I'm gonna keep the foosball thing because I think that color is okay. You know, it has blue, so it's okay, it's fine. I don't really care about that, but I'm gonna change everything else. Okay, I thought the room was really plain, so I added some uh, cardboard and some quotes that I found off Google. I don't care what you say about me, I like the way I am, because Gavin's really confident, he's just that guy. He's just that guy. And then I love my froggy stuff, and Gavin does too, so I put a picture of my name Toya that I also got from Google on his wall, and then he wore a Nirvana shirt in one of the shows, so that's his favorite band, okay? So yeah, Gavin's about the like, he doesn't just wear band tees, okay? He actually listens to the music. Not me though, I only know it smells like Teen Spirit. So yeah, the flooring, everything. And then I put the TV, still not feeling it, you know? I'm just like, this furniture is something, but it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm gonna ch completely change it. But you guys can see the windows, it looks so nice. I actually did really well with like, putting the foam board stuff around it. But yeah, I'm just kind of showing you what the room is right now, but I'm still not completely loving it. So I'm gonna just wait for the Etsy stuff. You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna order it right now, and you, you, when you see me next, the room will look more masculine. All right, guys, I'm back. The Etsy furniture is here. It was quick shipping, might I say, and I just love the room, how it came out. I think. Furniture definitely just makes a room, okay? I should go into an interior design. What am I doing? But honestly, <laughs> dull interior design because let's be honest. I mean, I could possibly make a room. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna put myself down, but you know, Adele, let's stick to crafting and making doll rooms right now. So yeah, you guys can see the posters that I put and they just look really nice. They really bring out uh, Gavin's personality and I really love the bear hat. I got that from Target and I think it just really makes the room like it's like a bro room you know it's just it's so cool it's just so cool and I, as soon as I saw it I was like that has to go in Gavin's room so yeah ignore the edge the cutting edges from the curtains but it looks pretty good and yeah that's the window <laughs> oh my gosh I didn't I'm just gonna pretend it has that third part to it you know it's gonna probably stay closed but yeah okay guys so I got the doll table and chair let me move IO down right here so I got the chair and the table set, they came together, luckily, and it's from Kathy Carlin's World's Etsy shop. I showed her in my last video. She was the same where I got like Maya's living bedroom set. And then this couch and pillow set, I also got from an Etsy shop. I don't remember what the Etsy shop is, but I'm gonna put it on the video so you guys can see that once I figure it out. So yeah, then he's just chilling there. And you know, he loves couches, just like to put his feet up, he's that type of guy. Don't let it being a doll couch fool you. That couch is really heavy. Like I was not expecting that when I got it from the mail. But yeah, let's put Ayo back into his chair, you know, let him relax a bit. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the DIY room, the DIY Kendall room. It looks so, so good. Like I'm proud of myself compared to the bad stitching and the bad everything that it has. Like if you can really see the bad problems in why weren't a pilot one because the pilot episode one, like you can really see the issues because the birthday, not the birthday, it was like the party because it wasn't anybody's birthday, but the party was at Gavin's bedroom and in the basement and it was just whack. It was whack. Okay. But now it's not whack because I actually know how to craft now and I know how to decorate. So if you guys like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really love reading you guys' comments. I respond to you every single one of them. So make a comment. And I will give a shout out to today. I will give a shout out to Tala Ahmed once again, cause she actually used the hashtag Dean, Dean's List. So if you guys want a shout out, make sure you put a shout out to Dean's List in the comment section and I will give you a shout out. So yeah, I'm so thankful for you guys' support and be look be look forward to another video next week on Saturday and Sunday because that is when I post. When I do post. If I don't post then and I don't post, but if I do, it's on those days. Okay.